so whatever i my mom saw like the white light and then she cannot sleep and whatever like the spirit was in the house so when there's bad energy i think we cannot do anything and exactly it went like outside the back door so it was like going outside already so is there anyone here what did you find you are listening to supernatural confessions okay um hi there so my name is sharini and today i'll be uh, telling about the journey of my horror story which actually happened in johor bahru in actually my house so this all started when actually my mom was hospitalized and uh, there there we where it actually started so my mom was actually hospitalized for some minor surgery like um 2 years back So what happened was like when she came back to our house after the surgery and all these things so she was actually um seeing some kind of white kind of light so something like a round thing light which is like bright also in daytime and also at night time as well so at daytime usually like sometime that time I was studying uh i was doing my degree so what happened was like uh, on the weekend i'll be coming to house so sometimes she will be like saying like um can you see something like white light outside of the window like i just saw it can you see she was like asking me to see all these things so i was like no no i cannot see anything only she can see like this white kind of light like this does it happen like for one or two days but this happens like uh, around like uh, for few weeks and all these things so we actually never make a big issue because um i personally believe in all these thing but at that point of time i don't believe this thing because it's like never happened to me right so my father <laughs> some more he never believe in all these things so what happened was this thing was continue and then uh, i went back to study and then she was calling and telling i keep continue seeing this white light and all that so at that time i feel like okay that's the time where actually i realized that something serious is going on in the house so uh on the holiday on the weekend so i went back and i thought like no um we need to take uh, something we okay. need to take action okay before that is, is did your mother see anything else apart from just just the white light is just in the round shape going in about in the apart house apart from that she said she cannot sleep well she's not happy she was like oh, okay. blur yeah all these things she was not like that she was blur she was some like uh, this kind of uh, thing it's she not like, herself lah um, she's just not herself yeah she was not herself like okay. she was like wondering what is it she was like something blur she was not her at that moment she was mm. like something else already yeah she okay. was like mm, sad cannot eat properly cannot sleep something like that oh okay so okay. that yeah so at that time uh, she, uh, at the weekend she came back and then uh, i mean like i uh, sorry i came back Uh, on the weekend so i thought like we need to keep a full stop for this so usually indians they will go to temple to actually um see the purpose person in charge in the temples to like solve this kind of problems you know like so we went to our nearby temple to actually see the person in the temple person in charge in the temple who worship the gods and all this thing so when we tell this incident to the the person there so he said like where you went what you did and all these things so we tell the truth story like what happened and everything and then he said okay this happens because um there is some spirit in your house so like uh that spirit is the one where your mom is actually seeing that is what because the temple people they are powerful i think they they saw some palm or something they see our hand something so they gave like a threat Uh, indian people so they tie on our hand and then also they give a lemon which is like uh, around the god's neck the indians they know so they he gave one of the lemon and he said kept behind when you sleeping keep that thing behind uh, your pillow when you're sleeping at night so what my mom did when they she come back how she come and keep the lemon behind the pillow and at that night itself actually i got a dream where i saw like a uh, clear this crystal clear picture of my house downstairs where actually uh, something was calling me downstairs so when I, i cannot wake up from my dream at that time so when i was like trying to wake up then there was like a black shadow coming outside from my mother's uh, room so the, the actually the shadow was like wearing a dark 
black gown something like that it was very tall and it has like really really long hair and i and even i think she was like turning and looking at me she had like this rich kind of face this is happening in my dream but then i swear to god the the thing is like see uh, really really clear in my mind so it was like crystal clear <laughs> even now like i'm having the goosebump in my head <laughs> thinking so, of <laughs> so in your in yeah. your dream when you look at these things is that everything is exactly like your house like like where your room yes, is where exactly. your mom room is everything is exactly like that okay well can, can you can you describe when you hear somebody calling out your name what does it sound like how, how does it sound like okay um i think i miss another point also there was like a uh, black magic mantras on my ear at that time yes i forget the point sorry there was okay. like a black magic mantra on my ear that is where that thing is like um disturbing me and was waking me up from the sleep and something is calling me downstairs and that way that is where i have the the clear picture of my house downstairs okay can you tell yeah. can you tell me more about the black ma- magic mantra the black magic mantra was really disturbing something like was like echo something was like exactly near in, uh, in my ear was like telling some like the mumbling kind of uh, thing seriously that mantra was like so so scary Oh, how how, like, was, like, how do yeah. you know? How do you know that is a black ma- magic mantra? Because the mantra was like not like the normal mantra, the god mantra or something. It was like continuously like uh very disturbing. Like oh, okay, the okay. The people's voice was like uh, worshiping the black magic thing. Oh, that one, oh. yeah, something like that. Like so really it, very disturbing. It makes you not comfortable, lah. Not the the not yes. the mantra that you listen to. You feel very peaceful. The one that we listen no, to in yes. temple. Yeah. It's not that, lah. It's it's very no, disturbing kind of mantra. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. The okay. disturbing one kind of mantra, and that thing can really disturb even in your sleep. Like you cannot be peaceful. You want to wake up from that scary something like that. Oh, okay. So okay. that thing, After and that? also at the picture. Then the picture of my house downstairs, and that thing is like calling me downstairs, and. In that dream itself, yeah, I saw that shadow coming out from my mom's uh, room towards going outside at the back door. So basically, the lemon works. The lemon that the temple mm. person gave really works. So it like really went out to the house. So whatever I my mom saw, like the white light, and then she cannot sleep, and whatever like the spirit was in the house. So when there's bad energy, I think we cannot do anything. And exactly, it went like outside the back door. So it was like going outside already. So mm. something was there in my house. So now it's fine. Now there's nothing. So like that incident really like one of the most <laughs> scariest experience that I had. Like even in my house itself. Oh okay. Um. So, uh. Do you remember uh which god is it or which which de- deity that you went to the temple? Uh, that was Durga Amman Amman tem Amman oh. god. Okay. So. Um. After that, did you guys go back and 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 tell the person uh, in the temple or uh, any follow up after that? Is there? You know, we never never tell to the person in the temple. But then we did some research, like who is mm. like the we 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 had some contact with the doctors and all. So we called the doctor and we informed because the doctor was like the people we know. So we said like this happen happen, and he said there's like a old woman actually was that. At the hospital, a few days before my mom came back here. I think on that day, my mom admitted. Sorry, she, there was a woman that something on that oh. week or the day. Yes. Oh, so meaning to say that your mother went to the hospital, admitted for minor surgery, then somebody yeah. died nearby. Yes, my mom admitted. Uh, at least. One week there in the ah, hospital. Ah, so many have said that the lady that passed away might follow your mom after that, is it? Yes. Ah. Yeah, the doctor said there is an old lady. We were saying this, this, this ghost. My daughter looks. She was like an old lady, something, something. Then he said there is an old woman actually that on that oh, died on that week. Okay, okay, okay. So that was really creepy. Oh yeah, it is. Um, yeah. Okay, so but but now your your mum is okay. It, it's that she doesn't see all yeah. these things anymore. She is back to her normal self. She's back. To, yeah, I don't know. What did you find? You are listening to supernatural confessions. <laughs>